Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Rookie Balboa run where the Eye of the Tiger is well and alive. We're punching well above our weight class but that is typical uh, for Rookie. Uh, we are in month number 5 I think. <clears throat> uh, we're fighting against the second alien ruler. We killed uh, the... Um, Viper King and we're now fighting against the Archon King but that one is likely not going to obstruct us here as we're now on another mission to neutralize yet another dark VIP. We could really use the intel but if that doesn't work out we gotta pull the plug and just do something else. Uh, I've uh, collected a few weapons uh, that uh, might help us with it. We got this time a deeper magazine, uh, an extended magazine, that could help us to kill all of the lost. We got, as, uh, as per the usual, our um, ultrasonic lure, two mimic beacons, and two times um, blue screen rounds, plus some shredding, and that's really it. The one at disadvantage this time is uh, we have two non bond uh, soldiers, XQ6 and Universe, unfortunately. Um, moderately like one another but uh, they are it, it will take a few missions for them to uh, to develop a bond if if and ever uh, if that ever happens but yeah we don't have any other bonds currently available so the one thing that i learned is i potentially will need to purchase a few more or recruit a few more rookies so that we can actually create more bonds because i am assuming we will soon see more casualties and that means we gotta get fresh meat for the meat grinder all right let's jump into the mission good time for us to land and as always the rookies look super motivated when they go into the mission that might change quite fast interesting map for us because we could theoretically almost reach the target with one sprint. We got 12 rounds though, so might take our sweet time. And take the high ground. The first sign which I don't like at all is the absence of a lost. I haven't seen these guys in a while. Where are all the losts? No need to ask twice. On it. Get it done. Good. Our teams are moving up. Let's say if I was to move up here into the high ground. No, can't really go through there. Would we get through here somehow? No. Good. I assume there is no one on the rooftop. The answer is yes, there is no one on the rooftop. Got it. Moving. And equally so, I assume it's the best choice that we have to, to just rush the rooftop. Uh, because I can already see an Archon. Very soon we gotta start fighting. I would like to open uh, this potentially. There now. With a heavy weapon. So if we were to hit them... This would a cause a lot of explosions. 
and a lot of shredding. Yeah, let's go with that. I heard the uh, grumbling noise of Lost somewhere in the background. Which then again is a good sign. Rolling. Because it means there is a good chance that we can actually fight against some Lost. Good, moving up. Let's kill that mutant. That's a solid miss. I would assume we're very soon going to see the hunter. Good. Here we go. If I was to take a bet, the hunter is going to join us. Very nice flank here. I appreciate what he had done. And we're dealing with loss. Fantastic. That's, that's really good. Position confirmed. 85%. Let's go, baby. Hair trigger. Alright, we have a lot of shots in our magazine. Universe. Uh, let's. Uh, hmm. Universe takes the high ground. A Aaron takes the low ground and picks up the loot. Come on. Repeater, repeater. Hmm. Eleven core is good. Superior laser sight. Also not bad. But it was still not the repeater. The game just doesn't want to give us uh, the good old repeaters. Heading there now. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. I bet you the next packet right next to the uh, to the dark VIP. Okay, there is the pack. Right there. Right here. Okay, cool. So I guess if we could shoot them with a rocket launcher, that would be awesome. But I think that's not going to happen. Let's go. Pick up your feet. Good. We know they are standing right there. Don't want to hurt the dark VIP. Not yet.
Good, moving over here. And... Let's hit these two guys. Not the dark VIP though. Good, we're moving up. We still have time. Don't want to waste the next Mimic Beacon. These guys here are busy. We're not clustered up, so we should be fine. Oh, wow. We're not fine. Good, we've taken quite a bit of damage from the Ultra Heavy Mech, but that's the problem with these uh, things. They are just very, very strong. Do we have blue screen rounds? Yes, we do. Moving out. Good. Time to deal with a couple of these loss to make it a bit easier. Not too much, but a bit. Target eliminated. Mainly getting the dashers out of the way. Enemy eliminated. Burn through ammo fast. And then time to hit that super heavy mech. Hard target. Minimal damage. Air trigger. For a nice little reload. Okay, so... Moving up, potentially overwatch. Moving out. We're continuing to move up here. Roger that. Just staying out of line of sight. Overwatch. Overwatch will help us. And it's too risky. I hate to waste that second Mimic Beacon, but those guys are dealing quite a bit of damage. Get 
Well, almost thought the Mimic Beacon was completely useless. Good, these guys are the targets for our next... Uh, for our next Ultrasonic Lure. Come on, hit him. There you go, good job. This is the most heavy cover that I can find, uh, which is needed in order to not immediately get eaten by these guys. And then I would say you guys deal with uh, the loss. Good luck. Six more turns. Let's get the Archon. Okay, almost. Drangs moves over here as well. Let's try to get the Archon again. Slowly but surely getting him down. And one overwatch. Nice. Nice. That was a good execution. Just at the right time when we needed it. Now both of them are in trouble. Oh boy, they hit hard for four points now. Holy shit. Let's have a finish. Five turns. I think we can still do it. That will very soon trigger more loss. Moving to position. Got Double time. Can I stand in the open? He has plenty of targets available. Might as well stand here. Knock down, grab, and done. We don't necessarily need more losts now. Four turns, okay. 
Let me move as close as possible. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's not a hundred percent kill. Enemy down. Two, four, six, eight. That's a kill. Two, four, six, yep, that's a kill. Target neutralized. That's a kill. Alright, just manifest that killing spree. Hell yeah. Good. Reload. Fantastic. Of course, minimum damage. Let's do this. Hostile neutralized. Not going to do that this turn. Instead. moment that we do it reinforcements will appear no not this turn I'm on it. I'm on it. there are still aliens around I can see alien activity okay three more turns So this should be far enough so that everybody can get out and I'm not triggering anything. The reinforcements that I was talking about and yeah everybody can get out. Okay that worked out well and we even got the target great oh boy the missions are intense even even if you get simpler ones uh, they are quite quite a handful good i would assume we're not going to get a bond yeah it's not flashing no But we got an Elarium Core, superior laser sight isn't bad either. And we developed the fear of mechs. Great, great. Just what you want. Okay, let's stay in the game, guys. We got to win this. Uh, that is a an interesting proposition. More Larium and more alloys could allow us to build uh, the war suits a bit faster. But first, I would like to get uh, the the Avenger power, and then we're going to get alloys and and Alarium. Placing hidden faces amongst uh, most missions, very good. More enemies, which is what we needed. Immunity to melee damage doesn't mean anything for us. She gets stronger. He tries to sabotage, 
and we're almost almost at the point where we need to defend so irrelevant can let go through this one is a pain in the rear if uh, vigilance goes uh, through the detection radius is massive so and they will move faster because they start on uh, what is called internally red um, yellow alert not to be conflicted or uh, mixed up with the mod yellow alert Good, we can't take away the plus one resistance contact, but we could get those psionic backlash damage. Shall we take that instead of the mobility? I think it's slightly better. It's slightly better. The feedback uh, would help us against something that we're tendentially weak against. Now well, talk about timing, right? Um, just after the month. If we upgrade it, it costs more. It costs more energy. But for now, we're ready to expand. And let's just put Neil in here for now. Got enough contacts, that's good. Bond training is going. And very soon powered armor is going. These findings will like oh great, very, very, very good. Okay, we got some inspired uh, data caches but do we really need that at the moment is the question i would rather go for uh, viper king autopsy and then turret breakdown and potentially even experimental weapons also it had the aliens have considerable resources at their disposal Build items, armor, warden, 600 supplies, and we need more Illyrium and Deloys. Okay. Well, we could purchase that. And we could get it here. Let's do a couple of things, okay? Number one, We're getting the continent bonus the isn't bad because double agent really helps us going region. forward, right? Right. Um, soon we could get further there. Let's finish the Avenger power and then go for the resources that's avenger power plus three great fantastic by the way choose a project can we build a war suit yes we can costs us uh, alien alloys and delirium just like everything else But I would nonetheless start doing it already. Okay, well. Jeez, we need we need Alarium and Alois and lots of it. So don't worry about the ten that I've just invested in a war suit for the normal squad upgrades. 
the war suits will at least give us individually better stats we get we have a very healthy income now so let's hope that we can upgrade the armor relatively fast nice that is good improved auto pistols unfortunately not what we needed our research was a success commander despite an extensive Let's study of Dr. research reports try the turret breakdown discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the just getting that uh, for the defense metrics material. and thinking ahead the turrets we see defense metrics we could place that like down here this will prove to be an important step forward advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing very good autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities really shows you how let's get that data pad data pad is that more is into important. Very soon our training is done, so we have a bond three then. Still missing too many resources for an armor upgrade. Wait, 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 wait. One thing that we could do is double check if we can build... Oh no, the... Hello, Commander. The serpent suit would be proving ground as well, right? Finished, Commander. Yeah, I, that way, that uh, that order makes sense. Let's go with the war suit and then the serpent suit real quick. The elders grasp can never exceed their reach. Oh wow. We've just received, I think, four times uh, um, against uh, the Chosen. It just didn't show up. It will show up soon. The sabotage was successful. Fantastic. Bond level three. All right, that's good. We got a couple of Bond level 3 uh, tech teams on the way now. There were some casualties during that last And we got a further engineer. Great. Good. So what do we have? Please give me something with hit points. Uh yeah, we this here wouldn't work. Uh, sergeant, no, no, no. Mobility plus one isn't bad. And what is this here? Supplies collected increased by 10. That's percent. That's shit, but mobility plus one is good. Um, will plus four, 16 ability points. Really doesn't do anything. Like, this is not good. And this is not good as well. I we could raise willpower. Nah. I guess that's the best we could do. Ambush, soldier captured, soldier wounded. Wow, moderate chance of a soldier capture. Not four plus one mobility. Oh, great. Everything has, uh, with the exception of this one here, has a moderate chance of a soldier capture. Oh. If it would be a great uh, actual reward, cool. But this? 
and then this no i think we have a month uh with a bit of a timeout where we don't uh where we're not doing any missions wow how pathetic yeah we don't need to improve the training here commander construction of this shadow chamber should allow us to better break down and analyze all the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering Good. In terms of upgrading, we can upgrade the resistance comms over here. Yeah, that's not bad. Resistance. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. Because we that means we could there. theoretically excavate a bit fa faster. Okay. Now covert ops missions are also no longer an option. One thing that I should say though, does any of uh, the covert ops missions allow to prevent uh, capture? This one here does, but do we want to pay 25 intel so that one soldier gets will plus 4, which is not a great stat? Yeah, and then this here for the rookies wouldn't work anyways. Uh, because it requires a soldier and yeah, a soldier, but technically rookies can't get uh, combat intelligence. We tested that already. So yeah, uh, unfortunately a very bad RNG roll for us. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. 81 intel, great. Commander? begins immediately commander I'll contact good you we're trying to get you. some more intel so far we're doing well strategic resource located that's not bad either okay so would that be enough theoretically for an upgrade what would which what can I do for you commander build items armor 75 in uh, Ilarium. We could purchase a bit of Ilarium from the black market. We wanted to visit it anyways, and then we can scan our 900 supplies that we have been saving quietly behind the scenes. Yep, there we go. Ilarium crystals. Thank you. I wish we could take superior conditioning and do something with it. Superior odd loader is good. Why are they not selling the mods that I want? Superior, uh, mm, superior scope and superior repeater. Superior perception, by the way, I would take that any day of the week as well. Yeah, let's get an auto loader. Not the worst idea. Laser sight is nice, but we don't have enough options to to make use of it. A couple of Bursa corps, we don't need them really. Superior agility, fantastic PCS. Unfortunately, we can't use PCSs, so it has to go. I, this really hurts me to do that because 20 do oh my gosh that's that's so good let's just click the confirm button and forget about it Avenger plotting new course it saddens me to see that we need to let these great items go to waste engineering Build items, armor, 
Sword and armor for everyone. This is our basic power armor frame. Very, very good. I think we are we have peaked in terms of most of the stuff that we can do. Now war suits and other armor are being created, and that's pretty much it. Like equipment wise, uh, we can only get weapon attachments. can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers and over time they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat okay I think Divert was the one uh, with um, impulsive reloader right It doesn't even show what his negative traits are. Well, great. Um, I think we're still going to do that. Divat, you get your traits removed. 10 days. Thank you. And in terms of, uh, do we need the hyper vital module? Potentially not. Getting that 50% or 100% healing rate though, I think we just can let that run through most of the time because there's always someone who is injured. It's the nature of this very run. We would need more alloys, but we could theoretically buy them. We got another core, and look at that, we have experimental heavy weapon, the powered weapons, and these are the big boys. The ones where you can get the really, really good stuff. By knowing my luck, we potentially get flamethrower after flamethrower. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. But okay. Good. We have enough intel. What else could we use? Let's go with experimental weapons because uh, those could give us some anti alien ruler weapons. Good. We got enough supplies. We're good on that front. I think if we were to make contact here, we could then instantly start building and that allows us to go whoop whoop and we would have most <coughs> of Asia conquered. Technical analysis is a fantastic trait. Let's do that because I don't have a counterplay for the Avatar project at the moment. We've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We're still tracking the Elder's assassin. She's moving through this region. Okay. Ooh. What a tough month. We now have armor upgrades, so at least the mortality rate should go down. But I am concerned. Uh, the just the amount of enemies and, and the difficulty. Lost are here, which is great. Uh, we don't need to counter that one. We might want to counter this one here. Also lost as a side trap. Yeah, <laughs> protect the device. That's not going to happen. No, but this year could be it. Uh, Operation Define Profit. 
counseling, vigilance, and yeah, maybe even fighting against uh, the hunter again. Haven't seen him in a while. So that could really be it. Afterwards, we continue the radio relay. After that is done, we have enough intel to make contact and we're theoretically in range of the Berserker Queen and we can make contact in this direction as well. Plus, we do have some more intel uh, that we can research to make even further contact. And as long as we can make immediate contact, things are actually going relatively well. Good. That's it for now. Enough rambling about the situation. We got plenty of promotions and we can theoretically bond level up. The bond between these soldiers continues to Yep, grow. yep. You guys they will get a bond level up soon. If they continue their training together. Good. Next building that we could or should take is uh, the uh, defense matrix because we're going to be shot down eventually next month uh, so once that is there and then we can have the shadow um, the uh, the shadow chamber as well and try to advance the storyline a bit more who knows uh, we are almost in the end game and if this would be arm wrestling i feel uh, that uh, i've already been given a hundred percent so i'm not sure how to uh, counteract uh, the increase in force uh, specifically the bigger enemies sectopod and uh, gatekeeper that will be just terrible to deal with the game hasn't been given us a lot of uh, repeaters unfortunately we're still rocking the same kind of advanced repeaters here and there and that's really a problem equally the uh, scopes are not good so what would need to happen in order to uh, to get uh, more powerful now is we would need number one uh, the plasma weapon upgrade plus one damage everything and number two we would uh, potentially um, need kind of a third modification slot for assault rifles i know both of that is relatively unlikely to happen just out of blue sky but it could happen and if it if we would see improvements uh, there the rookies would get a bit stronger still uh, other than that armor uh, so wars uh, war suits and experimental heavy um, weapons just to get uh, the uh, the blaster uh, blaster balls for all of uh, the suits that would be helpful yeah and repeater and uh, scopes if we had a, a superior scope on each of our um, rifles it would somewhat counteract the absolute abysmal um, aim that uh, the rookies have and then i could for instance look for armor penetrating rounds uh, so that we can at least deal with let's say the likes of a shield bearer without always needing to shred him if that is not uh, working the only other thing that i can con uh, think about is uh, going for just mass um, repeater and hoping that the bigger enemies are simply going to be uh, destroyed the yeah that's pretty much it um, I don't know if we, if more mimic beacons would do the trick. I feel they are a double-edged sword in this particular run. They are good to give us kind of breathing room for a round or so, but it's really not a problem of um, of fighting enemies. Oftentimes, uh, the losts um, are helping us enough in this regard. It's a problem of not having enough um, offensive power. So I'm almost contemplating later down if uh, we really need to go triple heavy weapon and then use uh, use that in order to go through uh, the missions i don't know guys let me know what you think what the line of strategy should look like and see you in the next run bye bye